Hello, crafty friends. Creative Juice by Lonnie here with you today. Clear up here in the corner. I'm going to see if I can make myself bigger. Let's see. Maybe not. Oh, I'm gonna, there you go. Now you really get to see me. <laughs> hey, it is Monday and it is a perfect day for crafting because it's a little bit cloudy and yucky outside. So let's do some stamping instead, right? We are going to be using today the Conversation Bubbles. This one has been in our January through April catalog. And it's such a cute one with all of the little dies here. I'm showing you some of the dies as well. But here's a little tip. Tomorrow, our last chance sale goes live on the 4th of April. And this stamp set will be 60% off and the dies are 20% off. So usually they were $46.75 um, as a bundled savings, but now you can get them for $32 starting tomorrow. Great time to do a little bit of shopping and get some cute things. And after you see what we make today, you're going to want to buy them because it's really cute. Okay. You've got the, you've got the little bubbles that match each of the little dies and then a couple of extra ones too. What I wanted to show you is how to use your dies for a stencil. We've done this before, but this one was so cute that I had to just share it. I found it. Um, someone else had done it with a different, I guess, a different set of dies from another company. And I thought, well, we could do it with that one with ours as well. So what I've done is I've cut a little piece of cardstock and I've laid all of my dies out on it on my uh, platform or my cutting plate for the stamp and the cut in a boss machine. So let's bring that in and see if I can do it without wiggling and moving the dies. Put it right back on here. We'll put one on top. Looks good. And we're going to cut them all out, all at the same time. The size of my paper, by the way, the size of my cardstock is three and three quarters by five. And that is going to be the layer for my card. So say hello as you're coming in. I'd love to see who's here. You may have to grant StreamYard access to uh, your name so I can see it. There we go. We've got all of these little pieces cut out. You can save. Don't lose your dies. I'm going to put them all onto the cutting plate here. Cut these all out. Look how cute this is. Okay. This is going to be our stencil. You can also use the full pieces here that are left over. Use those for another project if you'd like. In fact, you could probably layer all of these. Maybe you'll have to try that. Um, layer them onto another, another piece of cardstock and make another card because we hate to waste anything. All right. Clean up. Clean up. <laughs> here is our stencil. You could also make one. I did this one with um, with all, some of the pieces hanging off the edge here like this. But you could also make it with all of the pieces on the inside. This is what I'm going to show you in just a moment uh, how I did that one as well. So let's take our piece of white cardstock. We're going to use our stencil and put it right over the top of it, covering the edges so that we can just sponge all over it. Such a cute way to do this. This would make a great, I'm going to make this one into a thank you card, I think. I always need thank you cards. So I'm just going to glue or tape it with some washi tape to another piece of, okay, let's find my washi tape. Here we go. <laughs> another piece of paper, scrap paper underneath you here. Okay. Looking good. I don't want it to move and I don't want it to be too wiggly because then it or too fragile. So I want to just take a little extra pieces here to make sure, take the time to glue it down or tape it down well. Man, you'd think as often as I've had to pull off on some of these tapes, let, let's just do it like this. <laughs> Hello, Carlene. Hello, Gina. So happy to see you guys. Now, as I mentioned, we've got our, our last chance sale starting tomorrow. I, we also have a card class 
in Southern Utah here on the, hmm, I'll have to look to see what that is. Not next week, but the following week. I want to say the 19th. So if you're local, make sure you RSVP for that. Okay, I'm going to use, I've used, some, I want to use some different colors than I did with my, my sam other sample. So I'm pulling in some in colors. I want to see how they look. So I've got Sweet Sorbet, um, Orchid Oasis, and Tahitian Tide. So there's Orchid. Here's Tahitian. <laughs> and here is Sweet Sorbet. I've got two sizes here of blending brushes. Let me give you some information here so that you know. We've got the regular blend blending brushes. That's this size, this large size. And I use those quite often, but we now have small blending brushes as well. And this one is actually going to be a little better for this project, but I only had a couple of them. So I'm going to use my big one in the Orchid Oasis. And we're going to start with, oh, let's start with the blue. We're going to start down here in the corner and I'm going to just start blending some color over the top of the, oh, and that is what you don't want to do. Make I should have taped down my white too. Okay. It's all right. Don't worry. We're just at the beginning. It's not going to be a, not going to be a tragedy yet. Okay. There we go. All right, I'm going to hold my white in place. I should have put a little bit of adhesive on the back of that. Then we'll move to uh, the orchid. Let's just rub a little. Oop, I don't want that to happen. Okay, that one is really juicy. So we're going to just kind of blend those together so we don't have too much of a color problem. We may need one extra color here. Or I could go the other direction. So that is why we like the, the small blending brush for this idea. Okay, rub it off to the side first and then into the color. We may need one other, other color. What color should we do? Orange, maybe? Maybe a yellow. I have a yellow right here. Did you see all of the colors? that are retiring. I'm going to use Mango Melody in honor of it leaving. It's one of my favorite colors and I'm very sad that it's leaving. But oh yeah, that adds a little bit of extra. We have four colors there now. Okay, so we've got all of our colors made. Mango Melody is one of those that is retiring. There's quite a few things that will be retiring and if you need Ink refills for the ones that are retiring or cardstock, make sure you get that ASAP because once those things are gone, they're gone. All right, let's unveil our, you can keep this um, stencil and redo it over and over again. We have a little shadow right here, but that's because I moved, just when it moved, it's okay. Look how cute that is. Look how adorable. So the next thing we're going to do is stamp. I'm going to stamp the thank you sentiment from the stamp set onto a piece of black in white. So we'll use our white here. This is, so you can keep or make your shopping list. This is the Conversation Bubbles stamp set number, and it will be on sale for 60% off starting tomorrow while supplies last. And we'll just dump some white embossing powder over the top of that. Dump the rest of it in. This little handy tool is in the um, embossing additions toolkit. So if you do a lot of embossing, that's what you're gonna want to do. You're gonna want to have one of those. So we'll heat it up. And we'll cut it out, put our card together. We're almost there. I know there's spring break in some places. Are you, what fun things have you got planned for spring break? We're going to go spend some time with the kids and see the new Mario movie this week. <laughs> that will be fun. We have a lot of fun 
a lot of enthusiastic uh, Nintendo fans in our family. So we'll be able to do that. Celebrate a birthday of a grandbaby. Not much of a grandbaby. She's turning six. So that's fun. All right. Let's cut it out with find the right guy. That looks like the right one. Bring my cut and emboss back in, the big one. These do fit individually in the small one, but if you wanted to make the, in the small stamp and cut and emboss machine, but here I am looking for it right here. But if you want to do the background, you will need the larger machine to be able to run that through the whole, the whole crew through to make your, stencil to make your own stencil and they and you'll see with my other sample that um, you can put them in lots of different places now i realized i don't have a card to put this on let's grab one okay it's a good thing i always have some cut and scored ready to go so here's one that is scored at the top, so an 11 by four and a quarter. I am going to just put this on right like that with some dimensionals. Got to reach. <laughs> yes, still, still using up some printing mistakes, <laughs> but I don't want to throw them away. And nobody's ever going to see the back of that, right? This was from our Valentine card. So there's always two sides to the paper. And I'll do a couple of black dimensionals. Here is the number for the dies if you need that. Hello, Susan. And we've got Mandy. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Gina. I'm going to put this one right inside there like that. So there is the sample, pretty easy and quick and cute. <laughs> and here's a different variation. This is the one I had where all of the little conversation bubbles fit inside. It didn't go off the edge here, but I actually like it better, I think, with the pieces going off the edge. I was just playing around to see. On this one, I added a few, little bit more stamping with the stamps from the stamp set which you could do, or I really like this one that just had, is simple, super simple. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. I'm glad that you like that. I'm glad everybody, everybody thinks it's so darn cute. Pretty easy, and you can do this with any stencil. Of course, we've done this with the dots and spots dies before. I think if you haven't seen that video, you can use your dots and spots dies. Any dies that you have that are different shapes, Feel free to play around with them and come up with your own fun stencils to use. And as you can see, I mixed up the, lo the location of each of those dies on each of those. So every, every card may be different or every stencil may be different. Again, if you are ready to do some, some uh, stamping or get some, some of our last chance things, then you will want to set your alarm tomorrow morning and do some shopping at Creative Juice by Lonnie to get yours conversation bubbles. These would be cute in a um, scrapbook too. You could use the little dies and create, <laughs> create all sorts of fun things in your photos. Can't you just see somebody saying something with that with your in your photo photography on your pages, scrapbook pages? All right, thanks for joining me. We'll be back again next Monday and. We'll see you soon. Make sure you get your order in. You, if you're ordering less than $150, use my host code. I don't have that here, but it is pinned to the top of my Facebook page and at Creative Juice by Lonnie. You can use the link. Then you won't have to even enter a host code. But if you're ordering more than $150, then just go ahead and get the stamp and rewards free. You might as well, right? You can be the hostess. All right. Thanks, you guys, for joining me. I sure appreciate you coming and spending a little crafting time. You're welcome. Thanks, Gina. You're just so happy, so happy to have you here. We will see you next Monday.
same bat time, same bat channel.